We go to the roof here at Union City High School for this North 1 Group 4 final, and number 14 Randolph loads the bases with one out, and Matt Sacco lifts the fly ball to short right, but it's misplayed, allowing Stu Backer and J.J. Melillo to score, and the Rams have a 2-0 lead over number 6 Union City. Union City threatens in the bottom of the first, but watch Randolph shortstop Nick Ferragine make the terrific stop, robbing Danny Perez of a base hit to end the inning. What a play. All right, top of the third we go. Randolph loads the bases again and with two outs. It's Jake Barbiera with the clutch two-run single as the Rams take a 4-0 lead over Union City. Okay, bottom of the fifth we go and watch Randolph starter James Bertelli bounce off the mound and make the play. Then the 1-2-3 inning and the Rams still have that 4-0 lead. We go to the top of the sixth and it's Nick Ferragine of Randolph with the grounder to the hole at deep and short. And on the error, Randolph scores as Jake Barriere is awarded home and they have a 5-0 lead over Union City. The Rams keep the inning going here. Watch J.J. Melillo with a single to put runners on the corners for Randolph and there's still nobody out. And then watch Stu Backer rip this opposite field two-run double to the left field corner as Nick Ferragine and J.J. Melillo come around to score before Backer is caught trying to get the third but Randolph has a 7-0 lead. Randolph starter James Bertelli, normally a closer, was in a groove watching end the sixth inning here on the pop-up to first baseman Stu Backer, and it stays 7-0 Randolph. Bottom of the seventh, and watch Randolph do it on defense. It's J.J. Melillo with a terrific play at second base for the first out of the inning. And then watch Nick Ferragine continue his great day. He makes another terrific play at short, and it's Backer with a nice scoop at first to end the game as Randolph flanks Union City 7-0 to capture their first section title since 2010. It feels great, absolutely amazing, especially to be one of the leaders on this team. I'm very proud to wear this R on my chest. It was good for all of us to come out and just put up two in the first inning. We got to him early and then James just pitched great and we held on. It feels great. I wasn't around uh, for when that uh, for that state championship and it's great to, uh, to contribute to this team and win a state championship. Phenomenal. I mean, as a rookie head coach, uh, that's all you can ask for, you know, especially taking uh, uh, these group. I mean, I, I'm so happy for the kids. I mean, that's what it comes down. It's nice for me, but I really am here, and I took this job because I wanted to help them be champions, and today they show they are. James, shout out today. How did it feel? felt absolutely amazing. My stuff was working right from the beginning, and I knew I was ready to go from the bullpen warming up. James did a great job. He threw strikes, didn't walk anyone except the first guy. Struck a lot of kids out, did a great job. James came out there and he gave it his all. Uh, he's been shut down the past couple of games and we couldn't have asked for any more from him. Well, I can't say enough about James. I mean, uh, James has been a great pitcher for us all year. We just decided to use him more in a closer role. We thought that was more beneficial for us. And um, he took the ball today and we had no doubt he was gonna pitch well. The only thing we doubt is how long could he go because he really wasn't conditioned to do it. Um, and you know, he showed it didn't matter today. You guys got out to an early lead and maintained that lead for a big title. That's what we've been doing throughout these playoffs, and obviously it's been working just when sectionals right there. It's always great to go up early because uh, you uh, ruin the other team's momentum. Uh, they get kind of rattled in the beginning of the game, and uh, from there we just uh, kept piling on the runs.